What is going on, guys? Welcome to the second edition of my podcast talk show thing. I'm going to try starting here and see how well this goes over. Background gameplay, whatever I've got going on in the background right now, completely irrelevant. That's just there to fill space if somebody wants to have it up on their screen for whatever reason. Honestly, meant it's meant to be more of a thing you kind of listen to in the background instead of music type deal. So kind of ignore whatever. I don't know what I'm on the screen yet, but there'll be something there. It's going to be completely irrelevant to the actual video or audio thing we're going to listen to here. And as we all know, I'm incredibly professional at this, so expect nothing but the best. And I guess that we're going to have some interesting things. I actually went around and found some stuff to talk about today, which is being recorded on November the 28th of 2015. Of 2015. See, I'm already... I'm already off to a great start here. But the first thing I've got written down is apparently there's some Barbie doll or something that has a camera built into it and people were able to hack into it. There was a security researcher that said he found it easy to hack the doll that was connected to Wi-Fi and that eventually they'll be able to control what the thing says, which is honestly kind of hilarious because, like, it's like everything, like a while ago there was something about people are hacking jeeps and taking control of them and it's like, oh, <laughs> that's great. Somebody will be able to just hack your car and run you off the road without having to have to be there. That's amazing. But apparently these people said that they would be able to control the doll pretty soon. So I, that could be quite problematic because if you think of kids nowadays, they're so gullible. And like they, If you give them a Barbie doll that talks and somebody can like hack into it and make it say whatever it wants, that's... Hey, kid, go go grab mommy's credit card and show it in front of the camera for me and I'll send you presents. Yeah, do that. <laughs> right? Anyways, that that's going to be hilarious. I can't wait to see more of that. And next little thing I've got for an interesting story. In Russia, there was a guy that was incredibly, incredibly wasted driving a very large ship. It says like 7,000 tons, it says over here. And he crashed it right into Scotland. Yep, this this guy is freaking hilarious. He fell asleep because he was drunk. At, he, he like, downed a bottle of rum, an entire bottle. I don't know how nobody noticed that. Like, the guy was asleep at the wheeler in, at, in the bridge. And somehow nobody on the ship realized, that, oh, hey, that's Scotland right there. Oh, hey, we're crashing into Scotland. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't know how you don't notice that. It's like this massive cargo ship. Mass, a absolutely massive. And it's moving at like 10 miles an hour towards land. How do you not freaking see that? I, they all just, well, they're Russians. They must have all just been drunk or something, apparently. And I guess the long, as <laughs> long as we're going to be making fun of other countries here. Hey, this one's kind of touchy because this is a new thing that was just coming up recently-ish. But if y'all ever heard of Saudi Arabia, you know, the people that have all of our U.S. American soil under their sand somehow. That, I hopefully you know that was sarcastic. But there was a Palestinian poet who has been sentenced to death for, by Saudi Arabia because he did not. He said something bad about Islam. Who does this remind you of? I'm not going to specifically say what this is reminding me of, of killing people that don't agree with your religion. And killing people that don't want to be your form of Islam or don't accept your specific form of Islam. I'm not going to specifically say who that reminds me of, and I'll talk about that in about 20 seconds here. But think that that, that run through your head a little bit. Originally, apparently, his sentence was four years in prison and 800 lashes. For apparently, he posted a video of people being publicly lashed or beaten or something like that in Saudi Arabia, which these laws are archaic and just honestly disgusting. I don't know how. People aren't doing something about human rights violations like this, because this is just ridiculous. I well, they, they've got oil, actually, so we have to let them do whatever they want, as long as they have our oil under their sand. We have to let them do whatever they want. But apparently, this way I was going <laughs> to... This way I'm not going to say what the Saudi Arabia is reminding me of right now, because they are suing, or just going after trying to attack or harm anybody, that compares their their methods to ISIS, which we all know who those friendly... Those, uh, friendly... Middle Eastern bastards are over there that are kind of just killing people for not agreeing with what they want, and then they just get bombed. I, I don't, how are, how is ISIS still a thing? Like, how do they get motivation to fight when they're shooting, at best, they're shooting at a bomb that has no pilot, there, there's nobody in the bomb they're going to kill, even if they could shoot, or the cruise missiles, they're shooting at stuff that has no pilot in it, and there's, how do you even, you're shooting, if you, 
say you down the drone. So what? You didn't kill anybody. You just down the drone. We'll send another one. It's like, yeah, how would you even fight that? You have little AK-47s and we have cruise missiles. I, where do you find motivation? I don't know what's going on there, but anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to make a comment about what I believe of uh, Saudi Arabia's practices or what I think of them because I, I don't want to be attacked, but I think we all know where that's going. <laughs> And uh, that's, these things are honestly why right? religions kind of scare me, to be perfectly honest, because there's millions or billions of people just blindly doing whatever some book told them to do. It's kind of terrifying that stuff like this happens, and they'll just blindly follow it because of whatever reason. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's very, very scary. And also, I'm probably not going to be going to Saudi Arabia anytime, because... Uh, I'll probably say one stupid thing, and then they'll try and kill me, and I'm not 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 about to let, not about to have that happen here. That's not okay. Other thing to guess to go along, sort of maybe that kind of fits in here, is, is I'm just going through a bunch of news topics right now. Hopefully, y'all like this. Is trying to discuss things, it's kind of hard to do on my own. So we have to grab some other people in the future. But there's a thing in Australia now that um, parents who don't vaccinate their children are finally, finally, being penalized. If you, there's no reason to not vaccinate your child, it's, it doesn't cause autism. I don't know what retard decided to start spreading that around. It's not linked to that anyway. There's no harm that comes from vaccinating your child. When you don't get vaccines, you're putting the rest of the world at risk. Like there's a reason we tried to work to eliminate diseases like polio. We worked to try to get rid of those because they are bad. But when you don't get vaccinated, you just give it a chance to come back. Like there's a smallpox outbreak not too long ago, I think. And it's just like, uh, how stupid can you be to not just go get back? It'll just, uh, how are you this stupid? I don't get it. It's just, uh, I, 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 it's just these right wing people that are just diehard. Everything just, uh, they don't listen to common sense or reason. And yeah, get to Australia for finally starting to penalize people that don't get their child vaccinated because they they put everybody else at risk. There's, I, I don't know why they try and dodge this. Oh, other thing to talk about kind of recently, I should have, should have had this listed with the ISIS thing, but if y'all didn't know, uh, Turkey decided to shoot down a Russian plane that was bombing ISIS, because they said it was in their airspace, even though it wasn't, and apparently Turkey violated Greek airspace quite a few times, and uh, <laughs> Turkey's not going to win, they're not going to be doing so hot, it's like, uh, the US and Russia both agree Turkey's in the wrong here, and uh, the, you, you don't want to piss off Russia, because they're... <laughs> they, don't, they don't seem like they're too friendly to people who try and attack them. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, apparently, if anything good, this is united. The whole ISIS thing is bringing the United States and Russia, and for the most part, the rest of the world together. Cause I, who doesn't like a good bombing? Oh, that, that that's a, that's a bad quote. Who doesn't like a good bombing when terrorists die? Like who who can't just be happy about knowing, boom, fifteen hundred terrorists just exploded. I think I think everybody in the world can agree that bl exploding terrorists is a good thing when they are exploding on their own land, not inside our buildings. But yeah, that's like if anything, in this whole ISIS thing, it's one one group of people that everybody wants to kill and wipe off the planet. Hopefully, everybody does. If you support ISIS, you, you <laughs> shut up and go die. You should not be supporting them. But if anything, they're like unifying the world, and we might finally achieve world peace by everybody coming together to bomb the shit out of ISIS. That, that, that's, that's good, and, but again, with this whole bombing thing, I saw a video, Russia was, like, just launching cruise missiles, and they blew up 600 tourists, and that, that's a good day to be in the first world, when I don't have cruise missiles flying at me, because I'm being a terrorist, that's, that doesn't seem very fun, and last, I think I might have one more topic to go with ISIS here, just, we'll, we'll wrap up all the terrorist talk right now, but there are some girls that decided, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the western world, go join the terrorists, Ah, uh, yeah, they got beaten to death because they tried to leave. Ping in here? Good. If you're going to go join the terrorists, you deserve nothing but death. And they were beaten to death because they they went to join them. It's like, no, that's what you get. If you're going to go try and ha a further the cause of terrorists, you deserve to die. And that's what they got. So why do you feel bad for these people? They joined a force to try and kill... Uh, like Western civilizations, I guess they just generally don't like people from the Western world. They tr they join there to try and kill them, and that's like why. How do you feel bad for this? I just, I, I, I don't, I don't get it. It's just like what, what, what the, what the fuck?
What the what the what? Why, why are you? Right. Oh yeah, and the last thing I have a note here is ISIS has declared war on 60 more countries. So that's 60 more people that are going to join the bombing party of just destroying the crap out of ISIS. <laughs> and in some other news, again, this is still kind of going along that whole uh, law violation -y kind of thing we got going on here. There's a guy that robbed some convenience stores. But get, convenience store robberies happen a lot. But here's here's the kicker here. He robbed them using a snow brush as his robbery weapon. I, 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 I don't know how you get away with this. Apparently, they just, just let him rob him. Like, how do you take a guy seriously when he is trying to rob you with a snow brush? How, how would you even respond to that? I just, I don't. Guess, how how is that guy even get in the position where he's like, oh, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go rob a convenience store, but I'm gonna use a snow brush to do that. <laughs> like, what string of decisions do you have to make in your life to get to the point where you're robbing convenience stores with a brush? I I, I just maybe he's is he robbing the stores to try and like get some more money out of the store to go buy an actual weapon? It's like, it's the progression of robbery. He's got to start off small with convenience stores using a brush, and eventually he'll be able to, like, trade up to get an actual, maybe a knife or something, and go rob some more convenience stores, maybe easier. Then from there he can trade up to a gun, go rob some bigger stores, trade up to, like, a larger gun, go rob a bank, maybe. Get, then eventually you get some armored cars. It's kind of like Payday, that, you know the game Payday? Kind of like that. You just keep trading up until you're able to rob bigger and bigger stores. I just... I, I don't get it. And, like, where, what's he doing if he, at best, he's a small convenience store. At best, he's got, what, 500 bucks in the registers? What what are you going to do with that? You're just going to take the money and decide, uh, I know, I'm going to rob these two stores and then go legally buy stuff from these stores. Like, I don't... What, what process go, goes through your head? To, I, 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 I just don't... I, I don't get it. But, um... Yeah, it's just... Like, what What the hell is going on with... The, I just don't get you people as I'm trying to make filler topics as I find <laughs> new articles to... to us. Oh. Oh, this is great. There's a... Oh, wow. There's, there's a shooting at a Planned Parenthood. If you don't know what that is, it's like an abortion clinic. There's a shooting there in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I think we all know a couple people who live there. Hopefully they're alright. But yeah, there was a shooting there by a 59-year-old white guy... Who apparently is Christian. So, uh, I, I feel like we're not going to get any official statement out of them over renouncing this guy because they probably, because if you, Christians are all very strongly anti abortion, so they're probably, I kind of doubt they're going to renounce the guy for his actions. Like, I feel like there's going to be some people cheering this guy. He's like, yeah, yeah, stick it to him, stick it to him, show, show we're not, show we're not for abortion, yeah, stick it to him, yeah, man, show him what we're about. It's like, no, this is not okay. This is not how you spread a message. I, I, I feel like the church is not going to say anything. I, I, I feel like I'm not going to see any Christians saying bad things about this guy. Like, where if there's a Muslim that blows up a building, the vast majority of Islamic people are not terrorists. And they will come out against that and stand against it. Stand. Stand against it. They'll say, that's not us. We're not about that. We don't support this guy. We want nothing to do with him. We, No. I feel like we're not going to get that out of the, these uh, Eastern Eastern European, I guess. Would it be Western? Well, yeah, no, Western European religions, I guess. We're not going to feel like we're not going to say anything about that. But apparently the FBI has put warnings out of the attacks months ago, and nobody really <laughs> did anything about that. So that's great. Like, apparently, again, with those Paris attacks that happened a while ago, there were people that warned about those in advance, and... That's the problem with today's world. It's like, nobody does anything until something awful happens. Like, nobody will actually take action ahead of time to try and prevent something until something awful happens. Like, you, you're not going to have any progress in this world without a lot of people dying first for whatever reason. People are just afraid to make changes without... It, it just blows my mind how dumb some people in the world are. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, here, Obama has a statement about this. President Barack Obama released a strongly worded statement in the wake of the shooting, said this is not normal. No shit, that's not normal. He says, we can't let this become normal. You don't say. 
I would personally think it's not normal to want to just go shoot up an abortion clinic. I, I wouldn't shooting up anything other than maybe like a terrorist headquarters. That's it's not really normal. <laughs> what do we have to say? Okay, he says the last thing that Americans should have to do over the holidays is comfort families of people killed by gun. Oh, here we go. Is he going to try and spin this on an anti-gun thing? And yet, that's what we're forced to do after Thanksgiving. We don't mind particular gunman's so-called motive of shooting 12 people or for terrorizing the entire community when he opened fire on an assault weapon and took out... Yeah, here we go. This is... Blah, blah, blah and... Yeah, I feel like this is enough. I, oh, my. I feel like Obama's trying to spin this off as another anti-gun thing, which I, I don't get this whole... Why are people afraid of guns? Is it, are they just ignorant or something? I, I don't get it, because of... Statistically, the areas in the country that have more guns in the population where more people are carrying, there's a lot less crime. You know, that's for a reason. People just seem to ignore this. Like in an area where, like uh, Chicago, for example, is my understanding is they have very strict gun laws. And in Chicago, there are very high rates of crime. Because nobody has a gun. When you put gun laws in action, all that does is stop law-abiding citizens from being able to defend themselves because they're a criminal sees a no gun zone thing he's not gonna go oh i gotta go put my gun away i can't come in here with it or oh no my ak is gonna jam because it's a gun-free zone it's like no that's not how it works that, that's just no it's like a gun-free zone to terrorists is like hey there's a bunch of sitting ducks here that can't defend themselves attack there it sounds horrible but that's what it is I'm like like in all these shootings that happened in the French theater, in the French theater, if you put one, two, three, four, five, six people in there out of whatever fifteen hundred, I don't, these numbers are probably not accurate at all. I thought I saw something about saying there's fifteen hundred people in the theater, but say you give ten people in there have a, con, a legal concealed carry license and have been trained. I'm not saying just give guns to everybody. I'm saying just if there's a training program to let people carry guns wherever they want. Get rid of gun-free zones if you go through a special training program. I guarantee you there would have been far less people killed if somebody in there had a concealed carry because they could have just put the terrorists down really quick and been done with it. Like, it, the po police don't do anything to stop crimes. The military doesn't stop crimes. They, they show up with body bags when it's over. That's the fact of the matter. Like, if somebody breaks into your house, the cops aren't just going to show up to get the guy. They're going to show up after you and your entire family are dead and you've been robbed. Although I think most people that go into a home invasion probably don't plan on killing people that night, because that's, that's a very serious crime. They probably just go away, because I, I don't think most of them would plan on murder, because that's a, that's very, you're not getting away with murder. But the only way they're going to actually stop crimes is by having citizens carrying weaponry. The, that's the only way you can stop it, because you can't have police absolutely everywhere, and every, people just get upset, like, oh, you're infringing on my privacy. I don't want the cops sitting outside my house 24-7. People aren't going to want that. The only way you're going to stop crime is by giving people the tools to stop crime, which would, in this day and age, would be firearms, and 100 years could be laser guns. I, I don't know. It, it's... <sighs> the world just drives me nuts. Like, it, does, it just doesn't make sense. It's... Oh, here we... <laughs> this is great. <laughs> okay, so look at a new story. Picture in the background is a white guy with, like, a goatee thing going on, and a ball cap with a confederate flag behind him oh of course this is in florida a federal judge tossed a lawsuit against inverse gun shop owner uh yep this guy got legal protection to have a muslim free gun shop there's a guy in florida that uh he announced his gun shop was a muslim free zone and he's apparently gotten away with that that's that shouldn't really be allowed that's mildly illegal i believe you can't discriminate because of religions which uh that's all a gray area that's a uh, very, very very terrifying that anybody would actually be able to do that like that's <laughs> oh that's that's great some some suspicious boats have been followed oh jesus i can't even i can't even english right now but people there have been boats in china that were found floating around with bodies in them that were decomposing Yep, that, that's, that, oh, here we go, gay marriage, <laughs> this is a very political focused podcast this time, maybe you guys like this type of thing, leave, I, I'm stuttering so bad right now, I need to slow down and think before I say, because, like, I just like the unfiltered me just 
throws out a bunch of crap into this thing. Hopefully people listen to it and enjoy it. But you guys like these types of things where I'm just kind of finding random things to discuss? Uh, let me know and I'll do more of it. If you don't like these types of things, let me know and I'll probably stop. But uh, yeah, there's some... Gay marriage is legal, but not on tribal lands. Indian reservations are apparently not bound by decisions and can forbid marriage and insurance denies whatever... Oh. <laughs> oh boy, this article's title is just... <laughs> the title of this article from the New York Post is, quote, People having sex with horses is on the rise in Switzerland, end quote. What the hell? <laughs> oh, oh boy. So they're apparently they're getting at it with horses. There are 105 cases of maltreatment of horses in Switzerland in 2014, 10% of which involved people molesting horses. How how do you that 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 that's gonna be a very awkward thing if you get explained to if uh, somebody just walks in there and sees you on top of a horse. That that'll be a fun one to explain. Like what? The? <laughs> There are 110,000 horses living on 18,000 Swiss farms. Experts estimate that about 10,000 people in Switzerland are predisposed to zoophila, which I imagine that means into engaging with animals of the horse nature. Um, that, this kind of sounds like the Middle East in donkeys. Hey, hey, there's your mildly serious joke for the day because there, there's like there's those videos of. There'll be those terrorist ISIS people, like, humping a goat or something in the desert. And then, like, they just get blown. You see, like, an Apache trapper comes in and just blows them away. It's like, ah. The, go the donkeys just don't even care. Like, there's a lot of videos. There's, like, a, just a donkey chilling out in the desert. With all around him, people are getting blown up by, like, attack helicopters. And the goat's just, like, or the donkey's just sitting there, like, hey, look at that. There's explosions. You didn't even run. It was, it was just amazing. <laughs> Okay, so apparently marijuana is getting close to being legalized, I, th I think. Um, the Drug Enforcement... The DEA, which is Drug Enforcement Administration in America, is apparently... Uh, they might be giving up with the marijuana eradication because... Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like they're doing all too well with getting rid of it. This is, uh, if you're listening to this, I'm willing to bet you probably know that marijuana is not... Not something that's really been eliminated in any means from society. It's all... Now, I don't think it's that hard to get where you are. It seems to be a pretty common thing around the United States of America. And it's legal in some states, too. But I think they might finally be giving up, because their, their laws haven't really done anything. It's kind of like the gun control laws. It's like, yeah, you can say it's illegal, but people are just going to do it anyway. You're not going to stop them. Like, people that want marijuana or cocaine or heroin or any of that the illegal drugs, they will just go get it. Your laws are not going to stop them. If they want it, they will just do it. It's like, it's like, what was that thing? Just do it! That, um, God, I don't know, I forgot the guy's name already. The guy that was in that thing that did the thing there. I, I don't know, but anyway, like, laws like this, they don't stop. If people want it, they will go do it. Like, anti-gun laws are not going to stop somebody from going and shooting up a school or a theater or whatever. They're still going to go grab the gun off the black market. You're not accomplishing anything. I don't... People just seem to not understand this thing at all. <laughs> uh, it's just like, whatever you do, people are just going to go do it. If you try and pass laws restricting stuff, you're not going to accomplish anything. It's just nobody nobody really cares. It's People do what they want to do. And at least my take on everything is that if somebody wants to go, like, shoot heroin, snort crack, and all that crap at once, as long as it doesn't affect me, let them. If they're doing it in the confines of their own house, they're not going out and driving around or somewhere they're going to hurt somebody. They're doing it in the confines of their own house, not affecting me. I don't care. Do, do whatever you want that makes you happy. If it doesn't affect me, I do not care. I could not care less what you do in your free time. If it doesn't affect me, why should I care? That, I, that, that's just, I, I just don't understand. Like, people are like, oh, we can't have them doing their thing over there because that's going to offend us. It's like, if it offends you, look the other way. Don't, just, just don't look at it, but don't pay attention to it. It doesn't affect you in any way unless you want it to affect you. It's like when people say, oh, that, that YouTube video is so offensive. That tweet is so offensive. Eh. Just don't read it. It's not for you. If it bothers you, click away. Boom. If you don't want it, don't listen to it. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. It's your decision. 
It's like, oh, it's so offensive. I don't want to hear that. It's like, no. If you're sitting there listening to it, you clearly do want to hear it. If you did not want to hear whatever whatever it's saying or what's being said or whatever's going on, if you don't want to hear it or see it, don't just don't pay attention to it. Problem solved. Oh, and this is hilarious. <laughs> Got another thing about ISIS here. Uh, we all know the glorious sandwich spread Nutella, that um, chocolate hazelnut stuff, I guess. It's just so absolutely amazing that we need a moment of silence to recognize how good this is. Oh, it's so good. Okay, anyway, there was a girl named Isis, and apparently there was some promotion going on where they were like doing personalized jars of Nutella, I guess. They're putting people's names on it. But, um... Yeah, she had a child named Isis. I don't know who names their kid Isis. But, um, yeah, she was rejected from getting a hazelnut Nutella jar that says Isis on it. Because that... <laughs> I, I wonder why. Or Ice Hill or I, Ice, apparently, uh, is. There's a bunch of different names for it. Daesh or Izzel. I, I think we should just call them idiots. Retards. Morons. Um, goat humpers. Uh, terrorist, that one works out pretty well. There's a bunch of different names we could come up with to call them whatever they want. But, um, yeah, she was told not to get a jar. Her kid, o Odin? O-D-H-I-N-N. -N. These are weird names. Oh, they're... Okay, these are like nor named after Nordic gods or something. I I don't know. So, yeah, they got rejected ISIS. Like, names like Hitler and Adolf are not going to put on a Nutella jar for obvious reasons. Cause that, that would just be bad... PR, because, like, if pictures start getting out of people, like, you get a jar of personalized that says ISIS on it, and you put a picture of that on social media, that's, that's very, very bad PR for the Nutella company. I, I wonder why they didn't want to do that. That's, that's just, like, uh, why, why would you think that would be okay? I, 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 I don't get it. Oh, here's another funny story. There was a guy in Australia, because... This, you'll, this will make sense in a minute because it's Australian. Why would you want to live in Australia? Like, everything in Australia is there to kill you. There, everything is... There's just massive things that are just poisonous there to kill you. Why would you want to live there? It doesn't make sense, but, um... There's a guy that had a phone call made onto his house because the, the neighbors, I guess, called the cops because of some sort of domestic disturbance they were wanting to report. And, yeah, the, the domestic calls were about a guy trying to kill a spider. The police said, you know, here's an interview for the guy. The police asked the guy, the guy was shouting, I'm going to kill you, trying to kill a spider. Because in Australia, spiders like 10 feet in diameter and they're just massive. But the police said, where's his wife? The guy said, I don't have one. Police asked, where's your girlfriend? He says, I don't have one. We have a poor domestic... We have a report of domestic violence and a woman screaming. Where is she? Man says, I don't know what you're talking about there. I live alone. Police like, come on, mate. Clearly heard, heard you yelling. You were going to kill her. At this point, the man becomes sheepish. The police say, come on, what did you do to her? The man says, it was a spider. Police said, sorry. The man says, it was a spider. A massive spider. Police said, what about the woman screaming? The guy says, yeah, sorry, that was me. I just really hate spiders. So that, that's, that's kind of embarrassing, I guess. If, why would everything in Australia is deadly? I just, I, I, I don't get it. Now we're gonna navigate. <laughs> we're gonna navigate the front page of Reddit's here and see what's going on. Oh, that's funny. There's a picture of a. Uh, I'll, I'll describe this in my best thing I can do. But there's a uh, Tim Hortons. So we, this has got to be in Canada because it's Tim Hortons and that's Canada for you. Tim Hortons and fake bacon that's actually just ham I don't know why they call it Canadian bacon seriously Canadians calm down it's ham you don't have bacon you have ham just relax and admit it's ham and everything will be okay they, I guess they do have some pretty good potato chips though because those uh, all dressed pa potato chips or the ketchup potato chips are those are pretty good but uh, there's a Tim Hortons here that was a KFC and they like it it still looks like a bucket of like the KFC bucket of fried chicken but they turned it into a coffee cup instead of a Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket. So that's kind of funny. It's just... <laughs> okay. Other things to discuss about. Where can we fill up? <laughs> uh, why is there nothing funny on the front page of Reddit? Dang it, Reddit. You're supposed to find interesting crap to be on the front page. Why are you not doing this? 
So if you guys don't know what Reddit is, this will be the next thing. Reddit is this amazing thing of the internet where it just has everything you could possibly want. Just all over. Lots of cool things. And it's just like, it's a collection of stories and pictures and stuff that link. It's a like website that collects stuff to links. It just has a lot of neat, interesting things on there that you will never... It's a good place to get your news because apparently most... <laughs> Here's a new topic. Modern media is just plain stupid. Like, you can't believe most of the stuff the news shows you, because a lot of it's wrong. Like, they'll just go to, like, websites like Reddit, for example, and just pull a story up there without fact-checking anything, take it for fact, and make journalism about it. They'll journalize the crap out of anything they find on Reddit or something like that. And it's like... It's... <sighs> You'll get it first, like, if you... They'll, like, take Twitter things and just take that for fact without checking it and report on that. More so, you can't take what they're saying as a serious representation of what's going on in the world. Because the job of those big news outlets is to make money. And if a story will not make them money, they will not post it. Like, you, you ever wonder, why, oh, why do I never see stories of a black cop shooting a white guy? Or something like that. It's because people don't care. If this uh, it, white cop shoots a black guy, then it's like, oh my god, race wars! <laughs> race war! People will want to see that. They say, oh, I don't want to see Yes, you do want to see that because that's what sells. It's that clickbaity bullcrap that will get people to click links and make money and watch stuff. It's just like, 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 what was the guy's name? Trayvon Martin that happened a while ago. That guy was a thug. It's like, they're trying, oh, he's so innocent. He's just an innocent child and the police murder. He's like, no, he's not innocent. That kid was a freaking thug. If you like, there are pictures of him floating around the internet, at least, because you know the modern media is not going to publicize this because it's not going to do as well if they say he's innocent. But there are pictures of the kid. He had like a gun. He's waving a gun around with a stack of bills in his hand. Or not a, he had like a wad of $100 bills or something like that in his mouth, a bag of cocaine in one hand, and a gun in the other hand. It's like, no, we're not going to see that picture. We're not going to see that innocent Trayvon Martin. That never happened. That's not my. It's like, no, shut up. No. If you. Like, I don't. The other thing. I, people say. Oh man, F the police, we don't need that. They're terrible, all cops are evil, eh. Like, if you don't commit a crime, then you won't have to deal with the police. It's, I just, it was like a thing where your cops tased a guy, some guy died from a cocaine overdose and they tried to blame it on cops tasing him. It's like, no, maybe if the guy didn't bust, he literally kicked out the window of the cop car, like busted the window out jumped out the window and started running. Maybe if you didn't break out the window of a cop car and take off running, they wouldn't have tased you, and that wouldn't have been the thing. Like, if you just comply with the police, nothing bad will happen. If you be polite with them, they're... I have never had a bad experience with a cop. They've always been nice, because I was nice to them. I didn't mean you say, Oh, man, you're terrible, and then try to take off trying to run. Maybe if you don't run from the police and you treat them with respect, maybe they will be nice to you. Do we ever try that one? Hmm? 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 Yeah. Bet you didn't think about that one, Internet. And that's going to get people to hate me. and be like, oh no, cops are bad. I still hate them. You're wrong. I hate you. It's like, okay, if I'm so wrong, if the next time you see a cop, just thank him for his duty and protecting you. Th thank him for keeping society in order, keeping criminals at bay or whatever, just making the world a bit safer place. And that, they would, they would be nice. They're not, cops aren't going to shoot you if you don't provoke them. If you don't commit a crime to begin with, they're not going to do anything bad to you. Here, here's a crazy thought. Maybe don't commit crimes, and then you never have to deal with the police. There you go. Is that such a hard thing to get through your head? Apparently not. It's just like... Uh, if you just... If you don't like the police, don't want to deal with them, don't commit crimes, and you will not have a problem with that. It's, it's just so... Uh, I, don't, I, I don't get... Oh! Oh, this is a great story. Now we're going to loop on back to ISIS. <laughs> where'd, where'd that clickbait go? Oh, I, uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Turkey has been caught. I should probably read this before I start just reading it out loud. And can I get this page translated? Because this is all in German. Yep, Google, let's go ahead and translate that. 800 rifles for ISIS were found in Belgium. From Turkey. So you know that Turkey country that shot down the Russian plane that was bombing ISIS? Apparently they are actually supporting ISIS now. So Turkey, screw you. You are going to get bombed. I hope you get bombed. I hope Russia bombs the living hell out of you and to the point where you're just a big crater. Like, the, a truck full of weapons were seized in the Italian city of Trieste. I probably said that wrong. 
There are 800 rifles that came from Turkey and should be transported via Germany to Belgium, and they are being moved to ISIS. Uh, Italian police confiscated a trailer with guns and weapons of war. The truck came from a ferry in Turkey, and it was on its way to Belgium to have the weapons delivered to ISIS supporters. The car consisted of 781 rifles, models Winchester, SXP, and yeah, yeah, Win Winchester, that's great. The guns were partly shit. When the guns, if they were, okay, this translation's kind of broken. When the guns were shotguns, such as those used in hunting, the driver could not prove to be delivered what business, whatever. Right? This, this translation is so, so broken. Um, yeah, there lots of guns of the Turkish origin were being moved to support ISIS, apparently. So that's, that is just absolutely freaking amazing. Good, good, good job, Turkey. Go support terrorists, you bunch of idiots. <laughs> you're gonna, you're, you're gonna get hurt so bad. And, uh, let's, let's watch some GIFs or something here I can describe in mildly vivid detail. Oh, boy. There's a, a an ambulance hit a deer, and... Oh, that, that's, that's a bloody mess. There's uh, half the deer carcass is like through the windshield. Half the deer's like inside the car. There's blood everywhere. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. That's... <laughs> Alright, we're going to play some Reddit roulette. Let's go to random subreddits and see what we got going on here. Uh, who is... Okay, this is r slash Dota 2 dad jokes. Okay, I'm not going to get that. Let's go to another random subreddit. Let's play some more roulette. Okay, Lord, I'm gonna go to the first first post in a random subreddit. Here we go. We have oh, I can't get the thing. We have slash r slash Asian masculinity. The first post is the FBI is a source of white power. Let's read this and see how stupid this is. Okay, this is from the Reddit user Professor Eight Eight Eight. He says, "We already know the CIA is capable of when it comes to infiltration of minority and social justice movements. Only, one can only imagine." What Homeland Security gets up to, and he's got like the little colon P, little like tongue out face. I don't need y'all to tell me about coin, coin help, coin to pearl. The Obama's election, there was a resurgence of white supremacist groups in this country. The number of hate groups oppressing the United States continued to rise. In 2008 and has grown by 54% since 2000. An increase fueled by last year's immigration fears, a failing economy, and a successful campaign of Barack Obama. According to the Southern Poverty Center Law, the SPLC identified 926 hate groups active in 2008, up to more than 4% from the 888 groups in 2007, and far above the 602 groups documented in 2015. So 2000.15? Okay, this guy can't even use grammar correctly, so now I'm starting to very... I'm beginning to question this post even more than I was before. <laughs> He says, have you had any news? Okay, this is just retarded. This, this <laughs> oh my god, this post was so bad. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. I can't I can't deal with that anymore. I mean, let's go to a different subreddit. Uh, <laughs> Reddit. Am I the asshole? I think this I, that should be a Reddit. Alright, guys. <laughs> All right, it's good. It's, it's they found these things that are going around because you can just read a post and try and judge people from a position of knowing absolutely nothing about the guy. And you can just judge people for no no repercussions on yourself. So we're gonna we're gonna see here. It says, "Am I the asshole for not wanting to pay my coworker? He's a server at a restaurant and he works the dinner shift. I wanted to have last Saturday off, so I asked my coworker, let's call her Deb, if she could cover for me." Deb was working in the morning shifts that day, so we would have had to pull a double shift to cover me. To sweeten the deal, I offered to pay her $50 as a thank you. She agreed to the deal. I just recently found out that our manager allowed Deb to leave before dinner on Saturday because we were adequately staffed. Seems like a win for everyone, but now she's asking me for $50. It might seem petty, but I don't think I owe her this money. It was a thank you for a favor she didn't end up doing. I understand that she was willing to work. Obviously, I would have paid her if she had. It's a gray area, but I'm an asshole if I didn't pay her. <laughs> no... No, you are not. If you if she did not do the work that you were going to pay her for doing, if she didn't do it, you don't owe her any money. Oh, God, I saw my chair squeaking in the background there. But it's like you say, okay, you go up to guy. Hey, here's $180. Give me a new exhaust pipe in my car. And then he doesn't put a new exhaust pipe on your car. It's like, oh, wait, better example. Put a new roof on my house. The guy's like, okay. 
you say, okay, I'll give you $5,000. I don't know how accurate this number is probably way off, but I'll give you $5,000 to put a new roof on my house. And then the guy never puts a roof on your house. You, d you don't owe him $5,000 for work he did not do, Mr. User slash Aida33. You do not owe him anything for work he did not do. And if you guys actually have any of those types of things, you can send those to my fan mail inbox. And I guess I'm going to start working. Uh, let's go to my mailbox. Uh, depending on how you guys like these podcasts, I might just start rolling in those fan mail Friday questions into these podcasts whenever I record them. And I think I got a couple because I just posted the fan mail Friday one yesterday. So I think if these podcasts do well, at the end of the podcast, I'll just go over some fan mail or questions about that. But from uh, Shamey says... I'm, I'm going to roll through. I'm just going to close out the video here. We're going to go through yeah, three mails in my fan mail inbox. I'm going to roll into this podcast type video. And then we'll see how that goes. If you guys like this, I'll do more things like this. From Shame, he says, Hey, white guy. Sorry for my bad email last time. The nine was supposed to be a bracket. There's like two spaces between B and A there. That <laughs> I was like critiquing people's grammar in these. It, it, it entertains me. That was supposed to be a bracket, but I must... Lowercase I. Must of... Should be must have forgot, not must of forgot, must have forgot is what it should say, shamey, to press shift, period. Love watching your real life videos like riding around in a kiwaziki and keep up the good work. Shout out to Joe. Hi, Joe. Don't know who you are, but this guy says hi. So uh, there we go from shamey. Uh, we got uh, two more here we're going to go through right quick from... Uh, Jessica Durr, this, uh, did you not receive my mail? I've waiting for your response since morning. Kindly answer me. Uh, Jessica Durr, your, your mail is being flagged as spam and dangerous, so no, I, I probably deleted it immediately. If you're listening right now, I just got rid of it because it said it was spam. And from Antonio Rubel says, I'm writing this while I'm taking a shit because America. Anyways, keep up the awesome videos. Seems overused to say keep it up but i'm not a creative person dot dot why do you only put two dots it's either one period or three periods not two two just bothers bothers me so much <laughs> he says have an awesome day man so thanks for that antonio and that's probably gonna do it for this little podcast video type thing not sure what i had in the background i've been playing a lot of black ops 3 so maybe i'll have some of that going on i don't know if you guys want more podcasts like this where you just kind of talk about random garbage that I find floating around the internets, let me know and I can make it happen. You want no more, if you, don't, if you do not want this, leave a comment saying, don't do this, you suck, and hit the dislike. If you want this, like it and say, yes, this is awesome, do this more. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you subscribe more as I'm trying to get various other things done there. Branch out, do something different. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.